Don't do what I did. I made, I made all the mistakes, okay? I've made all the mistakes, and they don't work, okay? Yeah, so so I would have an hour, hour and a half meeting. You know, the guys will sit there and listen or whatever, but even they're looking. I, do we have jobs? <laughs> Hello. Wait, wait, wait. Wrap it up. Hey, 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 plumbing pros. Welcome to the 388th episode of Potty Talking. We have a fun episode here. Yeah. Okay, it's kind of a topic that... You think it's fun? Well, it's, it's one of those topics I really don't think about, but I get asked about sure. you know, often, which mm-hmm. surprises me. And in fact, it's the, the title of this episode is, Should I Have Company Meetings? Hmm. You know, that's a, a question that mm-hmm. I just don't, I, I don't think your... about or didn't expect, but I, I, get, that, I get asked that a lot. Mm-hmm. You know, and I guess there is some confusion there. In fact, yeah. we, we see, you know, some companies don't have any meetings at all. Some companies are meeting, you know, twice a day, <laughs> every day, <laughs> even on the weekend or whatever. I mean, meeting they're, they're for all the sake meetings. of meetings. They do, they do more meetings than they do, you know, plumbing. <laughs> You know, so there is a happy medium, and yes, mm-hmm. we do uh, have suggestions on the best way to have meetings. We all right, do. we'll get to that in just a moment here. But it's yes. good to have you here, whether mm-hmm. you're listening to us on the podcast, mm-hmm. okay, or, or you're checking us out in video format here, and can, so we can see each other here. Mm-hmm. Well, at least you can see us. I can't see you. All right. <laughs> Um, Put your but, clothes back on. <laughs> okay. Not you. Okay. Yeah, okay. Well, yeah. But regardless. I got, I got we, my shirt on. Okay. Regardless, um, we'd love for you to give us a review yes. um, out on all the podcast platforms and on YouTube and thumbs up and subscribe. All those things. Yes. We'd love that. But please do. All mm-hmm. right. We appreciate it. Help yeah. us get the word out. Okay. All right. Company meetings. Right. Everybody loves meetings. Right. Should I Should I have company meetings? Okay. And the answer is yes. Okay. okay. You should have company meetings. I was meetings. hoping it was going to be yes <laughs> because it's going to be a really short episode. <laughs> right. No. It All right. It's good having you here. As always, we want to. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, but yes, you should have company meetings. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, but it doesn't have to be uh, the step. The next step then is, you know, they wind up having, a, you know, the, the meetings like half the day mm-hmm. or they're having a few of them through the week. Okay. Right. Mm-hmm. That, that's not what, what needs to happen, okay? Mm-hmm. Yes, you should have a meeting. And I really recommend having meetings, you know, and I'm going to keep it towards the plumber side of things. So okay. as you grow, you know, you have office personnel, okay, mm-hmm. but, but with your plumbers, mm-hmm. okay? It's, it's, it's more important that you have these, these sit down or, you know, these meetings with your plumbers, right. okay? Mm-hmm. And we recommend doing that, first of all, every Monday morning. Mm-hmm. Every Monday morning. This is the kind of sets the tone for the week. Exactly. Mm-hmm. You know, a big mistake is a lot of, I've heard, you know, some guys come back and, you know, let, you know if you're, you're watching the video here, uh, podcast, mm-hmm. uh, comment in below, you know, mm-hmm. when, when, do you have meetings and when, when you have the meetings? Sure. Mm-hmm. I hear a lot of times guys decide to have their meeting like on Tuesday or Wednesday, mm-hmm. which, which I don't recommend. Mm-hmm. Okay. Look, your guys have been out all weekend. They've been in their own world. Hopefully, because you're not doing on-call and weekend work, right? Right, right. and even if you, you have, you're, basically your whole organization really has been off in their own world, right. okay? Mm-hmm. And so really you want to get them into game day mode, mm-hmm. okay? And, and most game days start Monday, you know, our, our game starts Monday. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's very important. I found it, and it was very useful and found it very helpful to have a, a meeting on, um, on Monday mornings, mm-hmm. okay? Um, and... You know, it, it, I did have him later in the week. You know, I remember one time we were doing mine on Fridays mm-hmm. or that because we thought it'd be, you know, it was like the end of the week or that mm-hmm. kind of thing. Yeah, we all, tried lots of different right, things. Right. Mm-hmm. We've done, we done it every, every which way but loose, <laughs> you know. And it's, but Mondays, that Monday morning sets the tone. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. And it's good to have them in, in your environment. Now, mm-hmm. if you're starting like back in the day when we were out of our home, which a lot of us, you know, we start out that way. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we didn't have the guys at the house. You don't want to have, you know, even if it's just one guy. And no, then you yeah, want to have don't. a meeting, even if it's just you and a helper, mm-hmm. you want to have that meeting. Yeah. That's a point there. Mm-hmm. You still have the meeting. You just you and a helper. You mm-hmm. establish that. Right. right. Establish and we're not, we're not meeting at the job site. Okay. Ew. Or at a job site. <laughs> Having a meeting at the job site does not a meeting you make. make. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you, you want to find some place like, mm-hmm. and to this day, I remember. I know you, you say this every single Big time. Apple Bagel. That's what we <laughs> Big Apple Bagel. <laughs> you know? So just find some place that's local that you know, maybe has a little separate room or something mm-hmm. that, you know, you can have a little more peace, peace and quiet um, that, you know, you can get the guys breakfast or whatever, but something yeah. where everybody knows and they kind of can look forward then to, okay, at least Monday morning, I know, I know I'm going to get a good breakfast and we'll, um, we'll have a meeting and good point there. Yes, always but bought, never at your house. Always bought breakfast. Mm-hmm. Okay. That kind of thing. It just, mm-hmm. you know, helps, helps set the tone. Right. Give them, give them a little treat. Mm-hmm. Um, I also paid for that time. You know, oh, peace sure. rate, we had a meeting, a meeting peace rate time, yes. you know, some, 
if you guys are, you know, paying hourly, which mm -hmm. don't, okay, <laughs> um, you know, I, I pay them for that time. Yes, always pay them for, if you're requiring them to be at a meeting, absolutely pay them for their, right. their time. And even if the meeting, which I want to talk about too, um, a training meeting where you bring in, you know, a softener training or pump training or whatever, right, always pay them for that time. And, and we don't recommend having those guys come in on Monday. That needs to be separate, you know, a separate type of training. And you're not doing those all the time. Right. But that would be the, the one caveat to only having or having meetings on Monday. Have another meeting, but again, it's training. You've brought in a vendor or whatever it might be that they're going through some some things. And it may be, you know, an hour or two, whatever it is. But you definitely want to pay them. You pay, pay them for that time. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're having the meetings, um, even um, whether, whether you're having in a Big Apple Bagel or whatever you're at, mm -hmm. or once you get a shop, you know, you have it in a, a tech room. Um, on that note, by the way, mm -hmm. uh, my tech room, the tech, the tech cave, mm -hmm. was a in our shop was the nicest office. Right. Yep. It was the nicest. I mm -hmm. made it nice. You're calling the guys up. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it wasn't just we had them in the shop. When we first, I remember when we first got into the shop, um, and we didn't have the area built out. Eventually, mm -hmm. we built out an area. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, we put up um, um, tarps. Yeah. And so center out, in the, out, and out in the lights, shop. Yeah. yeah, and did mm -hmm. some things to, to make kind of it create a separate right, area to, to make it to make it unique mm -hmm. um, and, and special. But eventually, we um, rather soon because I know it's very important mm -hmm. that we actually built a very nice space. Right, you know, red carpet. Mm -hmm. We had red carpet, leather seats, leather seats. There's a TV in there. You know, mm -hmm. um, little dinette. You know, place to make some things. We had right. a fridge. Had a fridge that we uh, stocked. We had snacks, little snacks, right? right. Um, beef jerky, peanuts, things that you know guys like to eat. Right. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I got, and if you, you know, like with the leather seats, I, I got that. Never uh, beer. Hold on one second. Uh -huh. And if you put, if you do stock your fridge with things to drink, never beer. Yeah. We had the never, guys never, ask, never, never, never beer. beer never no. beer. No, right. absolutely not. Okay. But anyway. Um, and on the stocking thing, uh, on, on getting treats, um, sign one of your guys, have, have your guys decide, you know, the, the guys get the stuff for everybody. Yeah. You, you pay for it. But have the, a guy pick because when you get it, then it's like, I don't like this. I don't like that. Why do you get Mountain Dew? Why didn't you get Red Mountain? What's it called? What's the Red Mountain Dew? I don't Dew, know. Whatever it's called. Right. I don't know if I can remember that. We had a guy. Yeah. He, he <laughs> it was a certain kind of Mountain Dew. Didn't have this Mountain Dew. Yeah. What was it's it like, called? I don't yeah. remember. Or a certain color Gatorade or right. whatever. Yeah. Exactly. So let the guy, the guys. <laughs> Hold on. I'm going to interrupt you again. So and we always talk about the guys always complain about right. something, right? So you're giving them free food, you know, free drinks, whatever. You may have some water, some pops, some Gatorade, you know, some energy drinks or whatever. They will complain yeah. about the flavor that you get. Yes. Just the way it is. You'll, you'll have the they'll have the place loaded, stocked, all <laughs> kinds of stuff, and they'll still find something. Well, didn't get. I don't like those. Mm -hmm. Well, what about the ten other things? You like those? <laughs> oh yeah, I love it. Wait, wait, wait. But I don't, I don't one thing I really don't like. What <laughs> As you know, making the phone ring and often is vital to your home service business. That's why I'm a fan of Search Kings. Search Kings is a Google Premier partner and have helped my clients generate leads on Google Local Services and Google Ads. If you need your phone to ring, use Search Kings and tell them Richard sent you and you need the Million Dollar Plumber VIP treatment. Go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash Search Kings and get on track to making your phone ring today. Okay. Uh. So, you know, so the guy, the, the guys are never happy. That, that, yeah. There's a theme <laughs> through all these. Guys will never be happy. Okay. Mm -hmm. But you do it anyways, because the bottom line with, you know, well, we're going to get back to the meeting here, mm -hmm. but with the space you're meeting, you're calling the guys up. You want right. to keep it professional. Mm -hmm. So there's another reason why you don't have it in your, if you're still out of the house, you don't have your house. Cause that's, they, they don't feel professional there. Right. It feels more professional meeting at a bagel place or right. a breakfast place or something. It gets kind too of, familiar. Uh, right. It's too, and you if don't if want them the in your, you do not in your space anyway. Especially, okay. um, you just don't want employees in your house because you never right. know. You may get an employee that, um, ends up not leaving on good terms and now they know where you live, all the things. So exactly. Yeah, not, but you're, you're having that meeting every, every Monday, every Monday morning. Mm -hmm. Okay. And in a, you know, in a separate spot. Also, in fact, this, this just hit me. I just mm -hmm. saw, you know, I was, I was scroll holing through like, MDP stuff or checking mm -hmm. stuff up and people posting stuff. So I, so I just saw this in between doing, you know, the, the, getting, ready, getting ready for this podcast here. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, um, while we were grabbing a little bite to eat. I'm sorry. I just rambled off that because I was looking through. Because you hit me. The, the lovely Laura also hit me. What are you doing? Are can, you can we doing? really work at not scrolling? And I, I'm kind of holding it like I'm holding my phone here. There we go. <laughs> so you, you said, you know, hey, hey, sweetheart, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, nothing. Well, I was <laughs> scroll holding. And I came across a picture showing a guy of a plumbing business that he posted that he has, has a meeting, which happened to be in his garage with his guy. Or maybe it was the shop. Mm. It looked like a garage, but it could be the shop. But the point I wanted to make, he was sitting down mm -hmm. in front of the guy, sitting. Mm -hmm. Okay, You never sit with your guys in the meetings. Don't sit. Leaders don't sit. 
Yeah, you know, watch the old war movies and that kind of stuff when they come in and talk with the men mm -hmm. or before, you know, a big flight mission or whatever. You know, they come up, everybody, attention, and everyone stands up and, the, you know, colonel walks out in front, general, whatever, in front of mm -hmm. everybody and then talks. You got to do the same thing. Well, they don't, the guys don't have to come to attention. They don't come to attention. <laughs> but well, you they stand. Did, they did in my shop. <laughs> you know. But but always stand, okay? Mm. That, like that space is their space. Right. Okay, yeah, mm. it's my shop. Mm. My spot, I pay them for everything. Yes. But it was their space. So don't, you never never sit. Because it comes and, too and familiar. familiar. Right. Just becomes too, and then you're, you're one of the guys. You're not one of the guys. You should not be wearing the same uniform that the guys have on. Absolutely not. There's other right. episodes on that. Um, and you don't sit there and be um, chummy, right? Right. You stand okay. as a leader. All right. Mm -hmm. And so another, so every Monday morning mm -hmm. had the meeting. Yep. Okay. Okay. And in our case, it was 730 sharp. Mm -hmm. 730 sharp. Yep. 730 sharp. Mm -hmm. It was one of my non-negotiables. Mm -hmm. 730 sharp. So at 731, the door was locked. Mm -hmm. Guy was late. He's it's that awkward moment Sorry about that you. I'm going to be coming out and mm -hmm. he's going to, you know, his head's kind of down or, mm -hmm. you know, whatever. He's mm -hmm. feeling weird. I'm sorry, mm -hmm. Richard. I, you know, my dog was sick and uh, whatever the excuse was. <laughs> it happens again. He goes home. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. But 730 sharp. Yep. Okay. Which leads us to point number two. Okay. The meeting was no longer than 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Meeting is no longer. In fact, 30 minutes is long. Mm -hmm. Good okay. 20 minutes is good. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, what the problem is, and I, I did this. You know, That's going to say, back, are you going to throw back, yourself under the yeah, bus? Yeah, back because <laughs> part of it is don't do what I did. I made, I made all the mistakes, okay? I, I've made all the mistakes, and they don't work, okay? <laughs> yeah, so, so cute. I would have an hour, hour and a half meeting. You know, the guys will sit there and listen <laughs> or whatever, but even they're looking, I, do we have jobs? <laughs> Hello. Wait, 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 wait. Wrap it up. Also, there's only so much they can hear, mm -hmm. okay? They may sit there. Whatever, but they they don't hear everything, okay? Mm -hmm. So a lot of times I would take that um, time in the meeting to go over, like, all the bad things that happened the previous week. Right. <laughs> <laughs> all the bad things. Um, if one of the guys did something, I would speak on that right then, mm -hmm. like all the guys have done it. Right. You know? Wow, well, you're really is, throwing yourself under the which bus. Which is a big mistake to make. Right. Like, if there's one guy d doing something, making right. mistakes, or that you need to correct him on, don't do it in front of everyone um, and yeah. act like everybody like this is, is a, doing a that shop thing. problem. This is a shop problem or a culture problem or whatever. Right. It's not. It's a one guy problem. Right. So the other guys are listening, going, "Wait, I don't do that." Yeah, then what are you getting what, on me for? Yeah, why are you getting on me about that? Right. I don't do and that. Now they have a bad. You know, they already have a bad attitude. Right. Or yeah, pull, pull the guy. Easily, pull the right. guy aside after the meeting and, and have a right. If you have a guy, that's, you gotta, yeah, pull him mm -hmm. aside after the meeting and address mm -hmm. his particular issue. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. But in that thirty minute meeting, at most, okay, we're not going over all the problems, all the new fandangled stuff we can do or pushing all that. No, you're going over your non negotiables. Mm -hmm. Which you're gonna talk about. Right. Mm -hmm. Eighteen years mm -hmm. of actually doing this, mm -hmm. with my eighteen, almost nineteen years. Mm -hmm. All right. In my and I saw I did it in one form and others, but with mine. I mean it was Our every mm -hmm. right. But every Monday morning for eighteen plus years. Mm -hmm. I went over the same three things, mm -hmm. the same three things, mm -hmm. the same three things. You think, well, the they, don't they get it? No, they don't. Or does it get boring? No, it doesn't. All right. You have to, it's, it's reminding them what we do here. It's, it's reminding them to block and tackle. Mm -hmm. All right. To pick and roll. Okay. It's whatever, whatever the, the thing is. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. It's, yeah, okay, I'm going to go with another analogy here. Yeah, I okay. I saw right. your brain trying to come up with something. <laughs> but it's, you're going over your non-negotiables. Mm -hmm. So if you've probably heard me say in the past, you know, my, my three main non-negotiables mm -hmm. and your non-negotiables, you're only three to five. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're back to the guys, the guys, you can't constantly beat on the guys. You can't constantly get on for this. And you got to do this. 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 Mm -hmm. They just, and then they shut down. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And they don't take everything seriously. So your non-negotiables are what centers around in a case, and if I'm, I'm your coach, I'm pushing you to whatever um, points directly at Mrs. Jones, mm -hmm. okay, and helps that process. Right. So my, my non three non-negotiables were options, options, options. We know what options. Give options. Good, uh, take good job notes and pictures, mm -hmm. okay. Clean and stock your truck. Mm -hmm. Every week. Mm -hmm. Every week. So like the <laughs> options, 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 you know, those that have been around here on other potty talks, especially those in the academy, we learn the importance of that. You don't have to sell. Options do the selling, mm -hmm. okay? And there's a certain way to even provide options and that kind of a thing. Right. But we run through the process. Mm -hmm. Even guys had been there for, you know, I had three, four years, all right? You know, I, I try to make it fun. I have a Snickers bar, and I throw a Snickers bar at Joe. All right, hey, Joe, 
you know, I throw the Snicker bars at him. You know, that's his little reward to go, mm-hmm. or whatever. Hey, we're at uh, Mrs. Jones's house, and uh, she has she called in about no hot water. You get out there and find out it's electric water heater and the bottom elements out. Go. So he pulls up his tablet pulls out his and ta- hopefully pulls out the the the, the plays right. Pulls out the right. plays and okay, we got a leaking water here, and so here it is, and so here here's the plays. He knows how to get there. He knows how to find it. He knows how to negotiate through the, the tablet because he's then he's not stumbling in front of the customer. All those right. things, right? And I would do in our cases. We know if you've been in the academy, we talk about the, the service sales system. You know, no one wakes up in the morning wants to call a plumber. No one wants to spend any money on plumbing. So the first time I give him the you know the price that much, well, I, I always took the hard road. I never made mm-hmm. an easy call. As you were role playing Ro- here, role playing. You were Mrs. Jones, right? And mm-hmm. or you know, Mr. Jones or whatever <laughs> being a jerk okay, you know yeah, so <laughs> they get used to that and work in the process right in the system mm-hmm. now joe may be just kind of doing it half-heartedly it doesn't mm-hmm. doesn't matter i didn't want to look for him to be perfect mm-hmm. it was just that he does he know the process and the others are watching maybe even laughing at him snickering mm-hmm. whatever it's just a weird but we did it every week mm-hmm. because it beat home that process right and then we talked about you know why it's important to take um you know good job notes mm-hmm. a reminder again because it protects our six or mm-hmm. you know our butt if we, you know, something happens or if we got to go back out there and it's not you, we have good notes, we have pictures, we protect, just, just remind it right. time and time again, mm-hmm. just remind him of that and then mm-hmm. clean and stock your truck. And if that's one of your non-negotiables, making sure that they have right. good job notes and pictures right now, everybody's got tablet and all that, um, that should actually be one of your non-negotiables. Um, if they don't do it, um, they, they need to turn around and go back. Right. Because, again, if you if you don't call him out on it, if you don't hold him accountable, then they're just think, well, he doesn't really mean it. Right. Because he let me get a, he let me, this slide. Right. And so I don't have to do it every time. He's just yelling at me. Well, I can take a little bit of yelling. I just whatever. Right. And go to the next job, do the same thing. No. Turn around and go back and get take pictures. Have him knock on the door. Sorry, Mrs. Jones. I forgot to take um, after pictures here to make sure that the work was all done properly and I need to load it to to our system and blah, blah, blah. Go in, get the pictures. Exactly. Hold them accountable. But all that was done within 20, you know, I got down to 20 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes. In a meeting. Mm-hmm. And that's a long time for you to be talking. Right. Okay. And just mm-hmm. kind of back and forth, mm-hmm. you know. Um, even the first part I'd meet, I'd say, hey, how was everybody weekend? Everybody had a good weekend? Mm-hmm. You know, just kind of, like, yeah, oh, okay, we're all awake. Okay, let's. <laughs> They're all recovering. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> you know, and then we, then we just, and I just got into it and then it was done. Mm-hmm. Okay. And we, we got them going. Okay. Right. It was no longer than 30 minutes. You mm-hmm. don't want to go any longer than 30 minutes. Mm-hmm. Um, we got, you know, you mentioned about having, you know, multiple meetings. Like, we'll, we'll, we'll hit that point here in just a moment. Okay. All right. Before we get to that, though, I want you to check this out. Hey, Plumbing Pro, you wouldn't plumb a house without a blueprint. Why are you trying to build your plumbing business without one? Grab your free copy of my Million Dollar Plumber Blueprint. In it, I lay out the exact specs on how to build a successful, self-sustaining, and very profitable plumbing business. Don't risk years of wasted time and money and failure. Grab your Million Dollar Plumber Blueprint now, and it's free. I gift to you for simply being a Potty Talk listener. Go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash free. Plum like a champion. All right, welcome back. Mm-hmm. All right, we're talking about should I have company meetings? Yes, you should. Okay. That's you, the answer. Yes, you should. The correct All right. answer is. And as, as we we're looking at it, um, at least um, every Monday morning. Mm-hmm. Every Monday morning. Right. Not, well, well, it's a busy day, so I'm not, you know, we're, we're going to skip today's meeting. We're just going to, I'm just going to send guys out. No. Mm-hmm. Every, every Monday morning. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. All right. Keep and it under 30 minutes. Keep it under 30 minutes. Mm-hmm. Okay. No longer that. You're going longer, you're really wasting time. Right. And you're getting your guys uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the guys, the guys are uncomfortable. They want to go. They want to go. Well, on, on that note here, by the way, mm-hmm. I, I mentioned about paying the guys. Even though we were no longer than 30 minutes, mm-hmm. we paid, we had an hour. I paid an hour for mm-hmm. the meeting. To protect I, I paid, meeting. I paid mm-hmm. a whole hour just, there right. was no whining and crying. So there's no whining and crying. Right. right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Paid a whole hour. Well, there's still whining and crying, but they're still less. right. <laughs> okay. Yes. All right. And also reviewing. Um, your non-negotiables, making sure you're going over those okay. every week. And mm-hmm. really, that that was the, the point of the meeting, mm-hmm. was reviewing the non-negotiables. Right. Okay? Mm-hmm. That's the whole point of it, mm-hmm. okay? not th- this, The meeting is not the time for you to, you know, go, go through all of last week. The guys have forgotten about that, okay? And point out all the problems and how, 
you know, guys you know, and, and wine. And a lot of times these meetings turn into a wine fest. Oh, yeah, you guys, gotta that. you know, we got it. We can't we got to get rid of the service service calls. I, I can't afford to pay you if we keep having service calls oh and gosh, talking money <laughs> and trying to educate. That's the thing. The meeting's not trying to educate these guys on business. On business. They don't care. Do you want to say that um, that's something you also I, made the mistake of? In I the made the mistake. <laughs> and, I, and I see it now with these other business gurus. <laughs> Bring the guys in and have them be part of the decision-making process. Bullshit. Oh, Sorry. I mean, that is such, <laughs> bleep, that is bleep, such bleep. bull. That is such sales <laughs> trying to you know, sell you something mm -hmm. and create an environment that does not exist. The mm -hmm. guys don't care. They do not. They don't mm -hmm. care. Mm -hmm. In and fact, all they it, see, in fact, all they see yeah. then is, wait, how much are you making? How much? Exa how much is the company exactly. making? Exactly. Well, why, why aren't you paying me more? Right. Why aren't you getting? I'm well, bringing. I'm doing all the work, and I'm bringing you all the money. Exactly. Mm -hmm. All right. So having to get, bring the guys in and say, well, what do you think? Should we do this? Should we do that? Or I just want oh your input gosh, on that. This is not a committee. It's not. It's, this it's is not, not a democracy. It's not a democracy. It's not a, in fact, it's, <laughs> it makes it makes them feel uncomfortable. Yes, it is an absolute like, dictatorship. Right. 100%. Right. A benevolent. Benevolent dictatorship. As long yes. as they do your system, <laughs> you let them live. Or if they don't, take them out back. and Long black train. Right. What is it? Yeah, <laughs> the train station. Train station. Right. Rip. Okay. Everybody needs a rip. <laughs> yes. And I had a rip. Okay. All right. And you need one too. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, but by the way, a good rip is a good GM. Mm -hmm. That's who you want your GM. Not your buddy. <laughs> I won't go down that. You know, okay, yeah, nice guy that everyone mm -hmm. likes. All right. Nope. 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 Rip. Okay. You need a rip. You need a rip. If you don't know who Rip is, go watch Yellowstone. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, but you were going to talk about um, other training. Were you going to bring that? Up? Yes. Okay. On that point of mm -hmm. bringing up other other training. Mm -hmm. Look, you know, we, we do want to get the guys trained on the, the equipment. If the guys don't understand the equipment, they're not going to. Even though you have it as your options, the play runs are going to play. They just won't have the energy in there right. because like, they don't understand the softener system. Exactly. Or whatever once they get it is. Comfortable, or, once they get comfortable knowing how it works, knowing what it does, knowing the benefits, all of that, they're way more comfortable than to present those options to Mrs. Jones, right? right. Instead, of, and if not, then they're not going to present it because they, they don't feel confident, especially if she has a question to ask and the plumber doesn't know the answer. So, yeah, bring in those types of training, sump pumps. Things like that. Right. Mm -hmm. And so later in the week, you know, we, we, I tried to always have mine on the one day. Even then, that's one reason I paid an hour is because we would sometimes bring in, mm -hmm. you know, and I would try to do it that one morning mm -hmm. instead of having the guys come back. It's a, it is an awkward thing. We think we'd like to have the guys around, you know, all the time and have these meetings and the mm -hmm. guys like meetings. The guys really don't like the meetings. No. Okay, but I, I, I know that we did some, and we, and we did because Mondays. they all couldn't go. I mean, right. so it maybe and Mondays are tough because Mondays are typ typically busy. On. Right, right. But the bottom line was always I learned not to have the least amount of meetings. So mm -hmm. I, I see some, you know, I see them online where they're like, it looks like they're having a meeting every other day, <laughs> or every day they're meeting with the guys before they go out every day. No, that's overkill. Yeah. It's, if anything, you're Let them you're, lose. you're losing money, mm -hmm. um, and and also make, you know. You're yeah. making guys uncomfortable. Yes, they're going to sit there and smile because it's a job <laughs> and do whatever, or at least be there. They're not okay? smiling. They're not, right. <laughs> but they, they just, they start interested, yeah. okay? Mm -hmm. You're really treating them like little schoolboys, mm -hmm. you know? Where I looked at, I wanted professionals. Right. I, 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 wanted, I, I wanted lone wolves. Right. I, I wanted eagles. I wanted guys that took themselves seriously. Right, took their careers seriously. Because right. it plumbing is a career. It's a, a great career for any anyone to have. So if I have to be on these guys all the time or talking mm -hmm. about stuff or training, that's, that's not the right kind of guy. You know, and then you're just constantly babysitting even more. Right. If you're treating them like children, you're they're, they're like, going to behave like they'll, children they'll even gladly, more. Yes. Mm -hmm. They'll gladly resort to being like children. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm calling them up. So right. I don't want to have a lot of meeting time. It's like, all right, let's go. All right, let's hit it. Right. You know? And then if you do have issues that you need to address with a certain plumber, do that outside yes. of the, the company-wide meeting, right? Pull them aside. Learn have that. A little training moments, um, disciplinary, right? I'm not writing them up. That is not what we're saying. Uh, but having some, some time with someone that might be struggling or keeps having the same issue over and over, whatever it is. But pull that guy aside, and, and that's a different meeting. Right. Mistake I made in the early days was, again, I, you know, I'd bring up these kind of things. Like, mm -hmm. all the guys had the issue. Yeah, that was. And that just, that. That didn't was a waste a of tone. time, and you know, it didn't set a good tone. Right. Um, so it, got in, it, it worked a lot better and also helped with the guy because even the guy knew I was – even though I wouldn't mention his name, he knew I was talking about him. Now he's feeling uncomfortable. Right. Where it was easier as I'm going out, you know, after the meeting, you know, hey, Joe, let me, let me talk. 
Well, let me, we got a moment here. Let's have let me, a word. Let's have a word, right. Mm-hmm. And I may even follow out to his truck and where it's, where it's private. And it's just not good on him. It's mm-hmm. just, hey, what happened on, you know, with that job? Either? Right. Uh, so what can we learn from that? Right. All right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's next time, let's do it this way. Right. That kind of a thing. Mm-hmm. Um, and that worked a lot better. It was more private. Right. Okay. And yes. it was more comfortable. And he felt more comfortable and it wasn't in front of the, the guys mm-hmm. and all that kind of stuff. Right. Even if he didn't use his name. But, Doesn't matter. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah. Because he knows. Right. And the guys probably know too. Yes. More okay. than likely. All right. So. All right. So okay. that is why you should have morning meetings. Yes, you should have morning meetings. And those those are the things to keep in mind. Making sure. Where's my notes? Making sure right. it's every Monday morning. That it's no every longer than. Monday morning. No longer than 30 minutes. And always review your non-negotiables. Yes. And then send them on their way. Send them on their way. Go do the jobs. Okay. Take care on, on that, Jones. just one, you know, yes. just a little bonus point here. So when by the time the meeting was over, they were to be dispatched. They were going. Right. And going. Yes, wasn't so more. So there wasn't the time <laughs> then. Now they restock. Now or they they're, they're hanging now out. Now they clean the truck, mm-hmm. that kind of stuff. Or yep. now, now I'm talking. Right. No. Let's go. Monday morning, the meeting was at 730. Mm-hmm. We had guys that were showing up like at 6 and 630 to wash their trucks mm-hmm. and just kind of get into their day. Right. Those are pros. When right. they're doing that. Taking it seriously. They, they take themselves seriously. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, when they're showing up early and. Mm-hmm. Washing their truck and Getting making sure it's trucked up, and then they're they're sitting there ready to go at seven thirty. I've already kind of talked to the guys. Hey, buddy, you know they're mm-hmm. all doing the already gassed up the truck, right? Doing all hopefully that kind of- um, with not unleaded gas when it's a diesel truck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I actually thought not about that. Not that we don't know anything I just, I just, about that. I just fueled up How my Jeep, I did, which is a diesel Jeep. Our Jeep that you see that we have is it's diesel, diesel, which I love it. How many times did that happen? Do you recall oh. where the guys filled up and un- with unleaded and it was diesel? More than. I can't remember. More than two handfuls. Two <laughs> was, hands, you know, more than fingers. We get a phone call. That I have. My truck just isn't running yeah. right. I just got oh. gas. And uh, we're like, oh, no. Which no, is $5,000 no. a pop. It was over $5,000 because they have to take all the you know, injectors out. And oh. take the, it's like, yes. oh, man. So we don't recommend diesel for that reason. <laughs> Anyway, all anyway. right. So having company meetings, very important. Yes. All right. Okay. Um, yes, you want to mention um, about booking a call? Yeah. Well, why, you, you're on it. Why don't no, you? No, you go right ahead. You're, okay. Uh-huh. Well, hey, if you're, if you're starting with your plumbing business, whether you're starting your plumbing business and just looking for direction or, you know, you're a veteran, you've been around the block a few times, mm-hmm. but you're just kind of stuck mm-hmm. and you're trying to find a way to get to the next level. Let's talk here. I want to help you. Okay. That's help what, us. Help, help you, you. All right. McGuire. Okay. We'll just have a conversation. There's nothing pushy. Okay. Um, with, with someone who's been there, done that. Mm-hmm. All right. And so uh, to book your free strategy call. Simply go to the million dollar plumber.com forward slash call mm-hmm. to book your free strategy call. Yep. All right. Okay. It'll be some of the best time you ever spent. <laughs> okay. We, we guarantee uh, okay. it. <laughs> <laughs> or your money back. Right. right. <laughs> there we go. Okay. All right. Hey, it's great having you here. All right. Hey, comment below on whether or not you think you should have meetings or, <laughs> all right. Yeah, let's know what you think. All right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but before we let you go, as always, we want to remind you that you were purposefully and wonderfully created. And you were created to do great things. So plumb like a champion. Bye, everybody.